Hello everybody, today I will be making yet another Jason mask. In this video, I don't really show the process where I make the mask in great detail. However, I do have another video on it where I show exactly how to make the mask. So this is just really a sped up version because I want this video to be more about the paint job and why I'm making the mask. Now that you have the main base of the mask, use the heat gun again to warm up the plastic and shape it with your hands. Again, if you want to see me do this in more detail, I will leave a link to the video in the description. Just something I'd like to address quickly. In the comments, someone was asking me to make a machete which I will get to, I promise. I've just been unable to make it yet, but I will see if I can get a tutorial out in the next week or so. So the main reason for me wanting to make this mask is that my other mask was a little too narrow and it didn't really sit on my head well. And the fact that I used paracord to tie it to my head so I wanted to make a new mask, one that I could wear with my um, sack mask, just because it's a cool concept that I had that he never really did in the movies, but I thought it would look cool, so I wanted to give it a try. Once you've got your mask all shaped and all the holes are drilled, go over it with some rough sandpaper and then a layer of high grit sandpaper. Don't sand it too smooth or the paint won't stick to the plastic though. For the triangles on his mask, I used a mixture of cherry red and burnt umber paint. Once the paint had dried, I used a small craft blade to scratch away some of the paint to make it look more weathered. I then made a mixture of black, mustard yellow and burnt umber paint, watered it down and smeared it all over the mask.
I waited a little bit for the paint to get semi-dry. Don't let it get too dry or it won't rub off in the next step. As you can see, I waited a little too long and there are areas where the paint did fully dry. So I ended up having to take a brush with some water on it and just go in and soften the paint so it would rub off a little more easily. I then went in with some black and burnt umber and darkened up the holes in the mask. This isn't something that you can really see on video, but it looks so much better when you do this step. Just a quick comparison between the masks, the one on the left is the one I previously made and you can see it's more yellow and I used paracord for the headband. So with this one I'm planning to use leather because I actually have a little piece of leather now and I also widened it out a bit so that it would fit my head better. So here you can see what I'm talking about, how the yellow mask with the very yellow sack doesn't really go it looks too yellow and also you can see the sack through the left eye socket which doesn't really give a great look so I'm planning to fix that by putting some fabric mesh over the eyes so that it gives a more hollow and soulless look This is the mesh I will be using and as you can see when I stretch it, it becomes clear. So I'll be taking that and stretching it over the eyes and just using a glue gun to glue it in place. Now time for the leather strap. So I just used a small drill bit and I drilled through the leather and through the mask and then I used two screws to hold it in place.
here's the final mask. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like the end result. But maybe you guys like the other mask better and would like to see a more in-depth video on that. But for now, hope you like the video and enjoy the post-credit scene.